What's up guys, Dustin McDangles back here with another video and welcome back to the Franchise Mode Rebuild series with the Pittsburgh Penguins and Rick Rebuild and in today's episode guys we're going to be getting in to at least the first round of these NHL playoffs here against the Boston Bruins and that's what we're going to do, we're going to try to get through one series every episode here in the playoffs depending on simulation and playing games and things of all that such but we're going to get into that today if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button we are growing every single day and i cannot thank you guys enough for the love and support you've been showing not only the series but the channel as a whole it really does mean the world and again if you're new and you enjoy franchise mode nhl anything Hit that subscribe button. Join the community. We're trying to grow to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So help us out. Help out the community. Let's grow. Let's grow together. So <clears throat> without further ado, guys, we're going to get into it here today. I know in the last episode, we did take a look. We lost Tuka Rask. He will be back playable for May 2nd, so that's game number two. We have a back-to-back -back in the first round of the playoffs, which is very interesting. But Tuca is going to be out for game one. We're going to be starting Casey DeSmith. Everyone else is healthy at this point in time. And actually, I do want to take a look here at the Lions before we start this series to see what the Boston Bruins have at their arsenal that we're going to be going up against. Obviously, first line stacked. Marshawn Bergeron, Pasternak. Second line kind of tails off, but Taylor Hall, 87 overall. He is, man, that's pretty high. Uh, Eric Halla, Craig Smith, third line. They got Wagner, Coyle, Felino, and then fourth line, Galchenyak, actually, with Boston. That's very interesting. DeBrusque and Trent Frederick. And on the back end here, Grizzlick, McAvoy, Connor Clifton, Mike Riley, Forbert and John Moore. So not too deep on the defensive side. We might be able to take advantage of that. And holy smokes, guys. We've got a defenseman injured. Carlo's injured. I was going to say, where is Carlo? I don't remember where he was. Olamark is actually up to 85 overall. So this is going to be an interesting series. Especially if he gets injured, we'd be going up against Swayman. So we're going to have to battle against the Bruins. It's usually the Achilles heel of the Pittsburgh Penguins anytime they face off against the Bruins in the playoffs. But it's a new year. It's a new team. And we're going to try and do it <clears throat> this time around. See if we can get the W again. Simulation of the periods. one nothing for the Bruins after one. After the second, we do come back. Malkin and Carter on the goals. Charlie Coyle for the Bruins. So we're going to hop into this third period here in game one of the playoffs and see if we can come away with a win. Here we are, guys, on home ice against the Bruins. Tied up in the third round one of these Stanley Cup playoffs as Crosby is actually going to get a nice cheeky little poke in there. Work this up. Try to find Gensel, but that is picked off. These jersey colors are kind of throwing me off a little bit, both black and gold. But, hey, doesn't matter. Crosby getting by one. Can we stay on our feet? We cannot as Bergeron now with it. These top two lines, it's going to be an absolute battle here in this first round as they are both skilled and willing to get things going for their teams as Malkin is going to find Latang down Main Street in the high slot, top of the circle area, and Olmark comes up huge on the pad stop. Man, what a nice play that was by the goaltender to stop Latang there. But we got to get something going here. Offensive zone draw. Crosby's going to win. Latang's going to rip that from the point through traffic as Crosby's going to come out for the cheese wrap. He is hit at the last second there by McAvoy. Trying to speed and down the wing. We're able to get it as far as the goal line to Rust, and it goes around to Smith. we got a battle below the goal line here. Brian Rust comes out. Oh, man, another screenshot as Rust just barely misses as Carter is going to throw the body there, and we're going to be taking Charlie McAvoy to the penalty box as I believe we – I don't know if we injured Carter – or not Carter, um, Smith or not – but Charlie McAvoy, I think a little bit out of his weight class right here against Carter. We're just peppering him. A couple misses, but we're going to get the victory there against McAvoy. Kind of hoping we can maybe get an injury of McAvoy. That'd be kind of nice, but it is what it is. A big fight might get the boys jumping for energy here. We're going to come back out with our first line, see what we can do. McAvoy not looking injured on the play as Smith is still out, so... Kind of a waste of a fight there, if you ask me, with just nothing really happening. I really thought that we would have had that injury there. That would have been nice, but is what it is. Dumoulin from the point, and Brian Dumoulin 
gets the puck into the back of the net, getting his first of the playoffs. Honestly, his first playoff goal, and I don't even know how long being a Penguins fan, but Crosby and Latang on the assist. Brian Dumoulin with a delayed one-timer. We were flicking that one-timer for the slap shot, but he kind of catches, shoots it on target, and Olmark, just with his momentum going the one way, isn't enough to stop that puck from going into the back of the net. And that fight gives us enough juice to get that first line out, get the boys buzzing, and we find ourselves up one here in the third period as the Bruins looking to enter the zone. Crosby is able to steal that away. Sidney Crosby with a chance. Oh, semi-little breakaway there, but line out. They are ready to go. We're going to find Dumoulin. He's going to find Latang from the point. Oh, my goodness. What an absolute rip of a shot. Just missed the open net. I don't know how we missed that. Great opportunity. Great screens in front to give uh, the Penguins a chance there. No eyes from the goaltender. Always nice. As we're going to find Malkin through the neutral zone. With under a minute left to play, Malkin trying to ice this thing without needing the empty net. Malkin's there. Malkin goes behind. Evgeny Malkin. Oh, my goodness. Evgeny, not Yevgeny. Evgeny Malkin with the goal. Wasn't really a wrap cheese backhand. Gets a second of the night. And that is surely going to ice it here. Kind of a wrap cheese, but it was poked off his stick for a split second. I think that threw the goalie off at his angle as Malkin was able to corral that back, throw that, and shovel it into the back of the net. And we find ourselves up two here with 50 seconds left to go in the third period of Game 1. First round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. As Carter, fresh out of the box, is going to let that rip. They're going to try to throw the body around here right now as Carter... Able to do so. We're going to work this up to the point. Latang is there. Latang with a nice little spin move. Latang with a shot through traffic. Nicely stopped there by the goaltender as Hall. Behind the net finds more. Oh, Carter's able to pick that off. As Latang with the puck at the point. We're going to find Dumoulin. He's going to try to shoot that through target or through traffic. It's Guniar off. Gets that poked or puck poked off his stick and Taylor Hall up through the neutral zone. Puck falls to Latang. They were going to pull their goalie, but we stole that nicely. And here come the Bruins. Back through the neutral zone. They're probably going to pull their goalie. They're not. And Gunnarov steals that. We're going to send that down. And that is a victory here in game number one. So we're going to hop into game two simulation and see what we can come up with. Tuka Rask is still listed as injured guys. So we're going to stay on the safe side of things. And we're going to play DeSmith once again. He did get us the win in game one. Game two here underway. Coyle Latang on the goals 1 1 after the first. Second period goes by. We are up 2 to 1. So anytime we're up going into the third, we will slow sim. If something changes drastically, we're going to hop in as Taylor Hall scores there, ties the game at two. And here we are once again. Almost a deja vu moment. 2 2 in the third. We got to find a way to come out on top and win this game. Here we are, guys. Start of the. Th not the start of the third period, almost midway through the third as Boyle is out there with our fourth line. Hosang is going to get a nice little body check there on Taylor Hall. So we go D to D up through the middle. Heinen with the puck. We're being pestered there on the play. Heinen's going to get on his horse. Going to fly through the neutral zone with speed. Goes around the net looking to get something going. Puck poked off his stick. We find Demers who finds Moreno with a shot on target. Work that to the point. Nice. Dumoulin's there. Dumoulin's still in the zone. Dumoulin's going to rip that. It's blocked. Probably should have just taken a wrist shot on the play. Minute left in the game. we got to play smart hockey here. No penalties. And we can't have any bad turnovers. As we're going to throw this around here to Guniarov. He's got speed and a good angle on the defenseman. Guniarov is going to pull up there. Nothing there. We find Dumoulin at the point for a one-timer off the post. Man, what an absolute rip there from a defensive defenseman. Dumoulin from the point once again looking for sticks. Can't get it as Brian Rust comes out. And Rusty might have given the dagger to the Bruins on that play out of the corner. We were all over them in those final seconds of the period. Still about 30 seconds left. But man, oh man, jumping out of our seat as Dumoulin hits the post. Pressure stays on. Brian Rust. Man, what an awesome goal on the backhand. He might be earning himself a contract for next year. We've got our first line out with our third pairing D, so that's a little scary, and not, not going to lie. As Crosby's going to lose the draw. Bruins pull their goalie. We can ice the game here with a goal. Oh, my goodness. Very dangerous opportunity right there is Malkin. He's going to find Gensel. Gensel can ice it. He is going to do it, guys. 
Jake the Snake Gensel puts that thing into the back of the net, giving us a 4-2 lead here in the third period. 28 seconds left to go. Game's going to freeze up on us. And so we're going to head back to the simulation here. Hopefully, with a nice couple of days off, we're going to get Tuka Rask back between the pipes. But we find ourselves up 2-0 in the series. That's not Gensel. That's Malkin. Malkin will get the assist. But, man, what an awesome game. What an awesome win. And I guess we'll close out this game. I thought we were going to go back to the home screen. But, whoa, what was that? I don't know what that was, but we're going to get a nice big hit there on the play. Can we maybe? Here we are, guys, on the fourth. It looks like our AHL team is also out of the playoffs. They lost in the division. Wow, 4 nothing to the Hartford Wolfpack. That's a tough one there, but is what it is. AHL not too super worried about how they do, but it's always nice when they make a deep run in, in, into the Calder Cup playoffs. But here we are looking to check the goaltender status here. Is Tuka back? Tuka is back fully healthy, so he is now... The starting goaltender to keep him between the pipes. But, man, hands, let's throw some claps together, put some hands together, stick taps, whatever you want to do for Casey DeSmith. Two, four to two victories. That is huge stuff. But now we're in Boston. This is the one place the Pittsburgh Penguins always struggle. Taking a look at the other Eastern Conference matchups. Leafs are up two. Islanders are up two. Tampa Bay and the Montreal Canadiens are tied at one over in the West. 2-0 for the Kings on the Oilers. That's kind of crazy. 1-1 the rest of the series. So, so far, it's a pretty much battle in the West, it looks like. But, hey, we're worried about our series. No other series really matters. So, we get into the first period simulation. Out shooting the Bruins, but still scoreless after one. Period two goes by. We're up 2-1. Demers and Latang. Latang is having a massive playoffs at this point for us right now. Slow simming the third. Like we will if we're up. I mean, look at those shots. 29 to 17, 30 to 17. Clock is winding down. The Bruins, they need to get something going if they want a chance to get back into this series because at this point right now, it is looking good for us. Five minutes left to go. Three minutes. I mean, look at that. Two to one in shots. 40 to 22. We're going to come away with a win. We didn't even have to hop into that thing against the Bruins in game number three. And we're about to walk away with a sweep against the Boston Bruins. Hopefully no one injured. Heinen, whoa. Okay, well, we lose Heinen for the playoffs. Broken wrist out until July 22nd, so that frees up a spot on our fourth line for somebody else to step in and play big hockey. And I'm going to throw Brock McGinn in. We'll give him a shot in the playoffs. Don't know how he's going to do, honestly. Don't really care. It's the fourth line. They're not going to play much. Look at Latang. Seven points in three games. That's just, that's incredible. Awesome stuff. We can't have too many more injuries, such like a broken wrist. That's just, that's crazy stuff. But hey, it is what it is. Game four with a chance for the sweep against the Bruins. Kind of hoping we don't have to play this game. After one, Crosby on Olmark. 16 to 10 shots. After two, it's still one nothing. We're going to slow sim the third. Hopefully we do not have to hop in. The Bruins are all over us this game. 34-22 are shots. We survive a power play, but Charlie Coyle is going to net one there. We're going to keep it simming here. It's only a tie game. If things get out of hand or if it goes to overtime, we shall hop in. But it looks like unless somebody can steal this thing late, we're going to overtime, guys. We are hopping into this with a chance to go to the second round. So let's get into it. Is there? Oh, ahead of the play. He's going to knock that puck out of the zone as Grizzlick. Just going to dump that one in deep. Five minutes gone so far in overtime one. As I see Carter on the fast break. Jeff Carter sees Malkin back door. Oh, that could have been it. He skies that one as Carter throws a nice body check out of the corner. Jeff Carter with an opportunity. And that one also goes by the wayside. As Malkin's got to get off the ice, he is probably dead tired out there. We're going to literally skate him off as the Bruins look to enter the zone. Can they find it? They do. Taylor Hall with the puck. Hall's always dangerous. <gasps> Hall is there. Ooh, that was very dangerous as Guniara, fresh off the bench, trying to get through the zone. Oh, we went just barely offsides. I thought we could beat that there. As Malkin, man, what a chance that was. He skied that over the open net on the two-on-one, but... Doesn't matter. We move on. New shift. New line out there. We've got the third line. Bluger, Anthony CU, and uh, what's his face? Why am I drawing a blank? Uh, Kapanen, where Kapanen also about to steal the puck, but Bluger 
with a little poke and go NHL special. Teddy Bluger. Oh, I was about to say, we suck on breakaways, but Teddy Bluger gets it back. Ah, oh, Anthony C. didn't go back one bit. We probably should have just skated that puck out. Oh, God. Oh, Tuka's there. Okay. We're okay. Just got to play some solid defense here. Taylor Hall from the point. What an absolute block there from Kapanen. So we got to... Oh, please get out. Please get out. Okay, we're out. 30 seconds gone in this power play opportunity for the Bruins. McAvoy trying to get into the zone. Guniaroff trying to get the little poke. Watch out for the backdoor cheese. Oh, God. Oh, God. Big poke. Okay, Joseph. That a boy. Joseph standing tall in front. Oh, my God. Boston is all over us right now on this power play opportunity. Bergeron, Pasternak with the shot. We're going to hold on. Hold on for dear life, boys. Uh, basically a minute left to go here in this power play opportunity. We just have to survive. Block shots, poke check. Don't leave the front of the net. Do anything we can. At least we've got Crosby out. Maybe we can get a shorty with who we have out there against who they have out there. Crosby is going to lose the draw, though. Dumoulin comes in with the flying poke. Holy crap, that was scary right there, boys. Marino, high slot. Oh, I saw Rusty in front for maybe a little tip. Brian Rust. Don't have a lot of time on this power play opportunity. Marino, I see Crosby. big, or That was Malkin in front for maybe the big tipper animation. But McAvoy's going to get that out. We got a minute. Oh, man, both of our power play units are dead tired. I guess from killing that penalty, but here comes Rusty. Rusty with speed. We're going to find Crosby there in the high slot. Brian Rust is going to score the goal and win this series. Oh, what a terrible way to lose. Oh, my goodness. I feel so bad for Boston on that play. We took the shot with Crosby, or I think it might have been Rust. Hit the defender in front. Popped right back to him. The goalie was down, and we are able to shelf that. Winning this game. Winning the series. Tuka beats his former team. I don't know why we're throwing our sticks. It's only round one. Getting a little too ahead of ourselves on this one, but we finally beat the Bruins in Boston. That is some huge stuff right there. So we're going to be able to move on to the next series, but that is going to be saved for the next episode. I don't want to give anything away with who we will be playing. That's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to drop a thumbs up. But again, hope you guys have a good one, and as always, stay dusty.